Hello, and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Roscoe on GTA 5 and a hot ring saber race, where things normally go quite spectacularly wrong if there is an issue. I mean, there's a roll, there's a climb over, there's a car hat and a spinner in front, and somehow Roscoe comes out in a better position than they went into it all. That's quite the lucky, <laughs> lucky get out from all of that. Next and up next, with the GTA 5 AI being derpy. The truck doesn't really fit in the petrol station here at all, in fact. Uh, but the AI is going to keep on trying. I don't know whether it might be a modded truck or something. There's certainly, certainly the car players driving slightly modded. So it might be the AI thinks the truck should fit. Either way, it doesn't look like it is. I think that's a normal game truck. I don't know. They kind of rammed the truck until it fitted into the petrol station and have now just abandoned it. Don't ask. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Chaotic on GTA 5 also is uh, racing through the hills. Now, unfortunately, AI car pulls out, doesn't have time to react, plows into it, managing to kill the driver. But the Sentinel has wedged the Alex and Emerus in here. So, player gets out, frees or moves the Sentinel, climbs back into their own car, only for another AI to drive along and do exactly the same thing. Now, not quite as wedged as it was before, however, the AI continues shunting for a little while as the player tries to get the car free, and then that AI abandons their car. Once more, the Emerus is stuck. I think the, the actual the mighty wing is stopping it from moving. It's kind of caught on the wall. So we get into the apostrophe, try and move that one a little bit. It's quite well wedged on the front of the supercar. Eventually, it does get free, so <laughs> that's then moved. Now, a cavalcade wants to go and crash into the supercar. That ends up in a driveway. Another apostrophe goes on two wheels across the Emirates. Eventually, the red car gets free. It's not a fun place to get stuck, apparently. A fungal penguin up next on Horizon 4 uh, manages to do both a car hat and a roll and an aerial overtake all in one go, which is quite impressive for an MX-5 on a cross-country circuit. So everything racing fairly normally heads up towards this jump. The Evo takes a little bit. Is it Evo? Is it a pro, actually, sure. The rather rally car takes a little bit of a bobble on the jump. Is slow. Mazda lands on the roof, rolls over it. Uh, <laughs> Continue back on the other side. No problem whatsoever. Well, I say no problem whatsoever. Good overtake. Driver drive up next on Need for Speed Undercover is leading the way in a race. No real problems, so to speak of. However, the next corner, the AI has, well, something to say about that. Yep, just random flying car. It could have got a lot worse, all things considered that. Just throw a car at the player. Why not? Uh, Luke Horner up next on WRC7 is competing in a rally, actually doing you know, pretty well. This is quite a long way into a stage. Just gets things a little bit wrong. Runs a smidge wide, clips the bank and goes for a roll. Now this happens in rally games sometimes, of course. The thing is, the car is stuck in a ditch, which there doesn't really seem to be a way out of. So what else are you to do other than to just drive in the ditch? I mean, the car is moving along just about. It's not really the ideal line along this section, but it is moving and it gets across the finish line. All in all, comes home in second. Could have been a lot worse from what was a very, very big shunt indeed. Uh, Mustang Bugatti up next on Dirt Rally 2 is messing around in the kind of free play testing area, trying to set up for, I think, for a big jump with the Lancia Delta here. Now, there is a section of water that has other ideas. We're heading towards the big mound of dirt, but gets caught on the... It goes through the water, catches on the lip, and the car just spirals through the air. It does come back down onto its wheels. That's a brutal roll. That's a brutal roll indeed. We're on to grid next with a Corvette that suddenly decides it doesn't want to car anymore. That's, that's about it. It was one minute it was driving the right way, the next minute it explodes and rolls into a tyre bundle. Not really what you want your race car to be doing, if I'm honest. Uh, SF1 Goomba on Borderlands 3 is going for a jump. Uh, this particular jump has a bit of a nasty landing zone. Yes, there was a rock there, and the only way the vehicle could possibly deal with that is many, many rolls. So, yes, vehicles will roll in Borderlands. Uh, that Mudkip on Wreckfest runs wide at Turn 1 on a street circuit, notoriously bad curb for launching cars in the air. Mudkip gets away with it. Mudkip gets away with it big time. The amount of times you roll vehicles here and just get flung miles. It's just That was a race ruining curb normally to hit there. Pretty good land. All things considered, pretty good landing. Uh, Mike up next on Wreckfest. This at the very start of a race. Now notice the sofa car at the far left with, I think it's a road cutter or something behind it. 
<laughs> Road Cutter it's absolutely launched off the back of that one. A lawnmower gets run over as well. But, uh, yeah, a little bit slow-mo. So the sofa gets pushed over. As it goes over, it kind of ends up underneath the wheels of the road cutter. Physics decides, well, the only way to resolve this is to just ping the road cutter across the track. And the player manages to just about avoid it. I mean, not the player has much say in that. It all happens so quick. Just it goes underneath that spiraling road cutter. Uh, Foxy Fire is the final wreckfest shenanigans of the day. It's more vehicles spiralling wildly through the air. This time it's a war wagon up ahead that gets pinged. Something off to the left as well. Another one of the muscle cars. I mean, there's vehicles tumbling and flying everywhere in this particular one. Now, of course, big crashes happen in wreckfest. You don't normally have that. It's that bounce that just launches everything through the air. Uh, it's not what you want to see. Not what you want. Not really what you want to have experience to your own car, particularly. It wasn't AI that does this uh, in the end. So it's a spinning muscle car that causes a lot of the mayhem. It's three, four rolls, I think, from the wall wagon before being pile drived by everything. In slow mo, we see what happens. So the muscle car loses the back end, is sideways, gets hit by the wall wagon and something else. Now a second estate car comes into all of the mix and physics. I guess can't compress everything down there, so it, its only solution is to launch them up which means big spectacular rolls for the war wagon. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good spectacular chaos-inducing breakfast crash, if ever I saw one right there. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. The very top of the page is the Faris Clips and Mission section, and there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.